Hey everyone, James here, and I'm back with another video for all you gaming enthusiasts out there. Now, um, if you're anything like me, you've probably spent countless hours trying to find the perfect video editor for your gaming content, right? It's got to be something that's both powerful and user-friendly because, let's be honest, we want to spend more time gaming and less time editing. So, in today's video, I'm going to share with you guys what I personally think is the best video editor for gaming videos. And trust me, I've tried a bunch. So you're gonna wanna stick around for this. Whether you're into making Let's Plays tutorials or you're just starting your streaming journey, I've got you covered. Now, before we dive into the like, nitty gritty, uh, just a quick reminder. Oh man, I always forget this part. Uh, to check out the links in the description below. I've dropped some super helpful links to the products mentioned today. And um, yeah, it's a great way to support the channel and find what you need super quickly. All right, let's get into it and find out which video editor made it to the top of my list and why it's going to be an absolute game changer for your content. Let the game begin. All right, so um, let's dive right into Adobe Premiere Pro and why it's my top pick for the best video editor for gaming videos, right? The first thing you'll notice with Premiere Pro is the interface. It's pretty sleek and, you know, very customizable. You've got all these panels that you can move around to fit your workflow, which is just um, it's super handy. Whether you're a beginner or a pro, and when it comes to gaming videos, you've got all these um, high frame rates and resolutions and Premiere Pro, it just handles them like a champ. No lag, no stutter, it's smooth. Now, when it comes to like adding effects and transitions, which is huge for gaming videos because you want to you know, keep things exciting, Premiere Pro has got you covered. You have this massive library of built-in effects and the drag and drop functionality is, it's just a dream. Um, it's so easy to experiment and find the right look for your video. Plus, you can get really precise with the keyframe editing or just um, play around until it feels right. One thing that's uh, really cool for gamers is the integration with the rest of the Adobe suite. Say you're making thumbnails or overlays. You can just pop into Photoshop or After Effects, make your edits, and it's super seamless to bring them into your Premiere project. And that dynamic link, that's a lifesaver. It means you can update your graphics on the fly, and they'll, they just automatically update in Premiere without any like re-importing or anything like that. But um, I got to be honest, Premiere Pro isn't the cheapest option, right? It's subscription-based, and that can add up. But in my experience, for the level of professionalism and the amount of control you get, plus, you know, the integration with other apps, it's worth the investment for serious gaming content creators. It's just, it's got that reliability that you don't always find with your cheaper alternatives. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, that's my take on Adobe Premiere Pro for gaming videos. Solid choice if you're looking to um, take your content to the next level. So uh, let's talk about FilmWare X, guys, and why I think it's like possibly one of the best video editors for gaming content out there. Now, if you've been around the block, you probably know that there's a ton of editing software, right? And each one has its pros and cons. But after messing around with FilmWare X for quite a bit, I've got to say it really hits that sweet spot for gamers. First things first, the interface on FilmWare X is just, uh, it's designed for ease of use, which is fantastic for those of us who aren't you know, professional editors, you've got this intuitive timeline drag and drop features that make cutting gameplay footage pretty darn effortless. And I mean, you want to get back to gaming, right? Not spend hours editing. Now, um, they've also got this awesome selection of built in titles, transitions and effects that really bring your gaming highlights to life without, you know, having to fuss over creating your own graphics from scratch. Now let's talk performance because uh, that's key, right? Filmore X doesn't need like a super high end PC to run smoothly, which is more than I can say for some of the others I've tried. I mean, no one wants the software to lag more than the games. Am I right? It's good to know that you can edit those epic gaming moments without testing the limits of your PC and exporting. it. It's pretty quick, like surprisingly quick, gives you more time to get those wins in your favorite game. And um, one last thing that's super cool, the audio editing for us gamers, having the right sound effects and music is like, crucial. Filmora X has some neat audio tools to help clean up your commentary or even make those gunshots and explosions pop. So sound library is a big plus too. Uh, great for when you want to add a bit of flair to your videos without scavenging the internet for royalty free tracks. So yeah, overall Filmora X, it's a solid choice, pretty easy to use and won't break the bank either. Definitely worth checking out if you're looking to make your gaming videos stand out. All right, so today we're looking into Luminar Neo as a choice. For those of you out there looking to, you know, up your game in editing gaming videos, 
Now you might be thinking, wait a sec, isn't Luminar Neo more like a photo editor? And um, you'd be right technically. But here's the kicker. With this AI-driven tools, it's actually got some pretty nifty features that can make your thumbnails pop or give your video intros a unique twist. So first things first, Luminar Neo's eye is like really good for certain things that you wouldn't normally think about for video, but just stick with me here. For instance, say you've got a static image or a scene and you wanna add some cool visual effects. Neo's got these AI tools that can swap out skies or apply these atmospheric effects like fog or mist. It's pretty wild. And um, even though it's not a traditional video editor, for spicing up your static shots or creating a dope title screen, it's actually pretty awesome. Now, another thing I wanna dive into is how um, user-friendly it is. If you're not exactly a wizard with software, Neo's interface isn't gonna scare you off. It's straightforward and dragging and dropping effects is a breeze. So um, if you're already sweating thinking about After Effects and his learning curve, Neo might just be your new best friend for the simpler stuff, you know? To wrap things up, while Luminar Neo might not be the conventional go-to for video editing, it's definitely worth a look for the gaming content creators out there wanting to enhance their visuals without going too deep into the complex world of video editing software. Keep in mind though, for the hardcore video editing, you'll still need something like Premiere Pro or Final Cut. But for the flair, Neo's got your back. So um, let's talk about Camtasia. If you're into making gaming videos, you might've heard about this software a lot. It's a pretty solid tool, guys, not just for screen recording, but also for video. Uh, straight off the bat, what's really cool about Camtasia is that it has a super intuitive interface, right? So if you're not a pro editor, or maybe you're just starting out, you're gonna find it like super easy to navigate through all the features. Right? Now I'm gonna say that when you're recording gameplay, you want something that's not gonna lag or you know drop frames because that's just annoying as hell. Temptation is pretty good at handling high resolution footage and it doesn't put too much strain on your system, which is awesome for you know those long gaming sessions where you're just grinding away. Plus there's this nice feature where you can record your face with your webcam at the same time as your gameplay, which is pretty cool for reaction videos or tutorials. But uh, let's talk editing, right? When you've got your footage, Camtasia's got some handy tools for trimming, uh, adding effects, animations, and even annotations, which is perfect when you want to highlight something specific in your game. And, and you know, the thing is, it's not as powerful as say, Adobe Premiere Pro or After Effects, but it's definitely enough for most gaming videos where you're not doing super complex edits. However, mm -hmm, the downside, Camtasia is not cheap, guys. It's a bit on the pricey side compared to some other options out there, but there's a free trial to give it a whirl before you buy. The question is, is it worth the investment for your gaming channel? Well, if ease of use and having a stable, reliable tool is your priority, then uh, I'd say Camtasia could be your best buddy for gaming videos. Just don't forget, um, there are lots of tools out there, so make sure to explore your options before you, you know, commit your wallet to anything. All right, let's talk about DaVinci Resolve and why it's pretty much my go-to for editing gaming videos. First off, mm -hmm. the thing is it's free. Yeah. You heard that, right? You can download the basic version without spending a dime, and it's packed with features that some paid software doesn't even offer. Now, that's huge for gamers, right? Because um, we'd rather spend our money on games and gear than on editing software. Now, when you dive into Resolve, the interface might be, you know, a bit intimidating at first, but once you get the hang of it, which doesn't take too long, you'll see it's super efficient. The cut page, for instance, is perfect for quick edits, which is crucial when you're pumping out content regularly. And that's not all color grading and Resolve. Oh man, it's top notch. You can make those game graphics pop in a way that gets your viewers totally hooked. Um... For those tricky audio issues that we often encounter with game recordings, Resolve has got Fairlight. It's a built-in digital audio workstation, and it's a game changer, seriously. You can tweak your audio to perfection, remove background noise, balance levels, and all without needing to export to a separate application. Anything that saves time is a win in my book. And performance-wise, DaVinci Resolve holds its own pretty well, even on you know, mid-range systems. But hey, keep in mind, rendering can be a bit heavy, especially if you're working with 4K footage or complex effects. But with some patience and maybe a few settings tweaks, it's manageable. So um, yeah, overall, if you're into gaming and want to make some sick videos without breaking the bank, DaVinci Resolve is definitely worth checking out. All right, guys, that pretty much wraps up my take on the 
best video editor for gaming. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. um, I hope you found this rundown helpful and maybe even discovered some new tricks to level up your editing game. Remember, you can find links to all the software we chatted about today down there in the description. So definitely check those out if you're interested in trying any of them for yourself. If you got any questions or, you know, if there's something particular you're curious about with any of these editors, um, go ahead and drop me a comment below. I love seeing what you guys are thinking and I'll do my best to get back to each of you with some answers. Also, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. It really helps out the channel. Plus, you'll stay up to date with all the latest from me. And hey, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up so I know to make more content just like this. And before you click away, take a second to check out some of my other videos. I've covered a ton of stuff that I'm sure you'll find really useful, especially if you're into gaming and all things tech. Okay, that's it for this one. Thanks so much for watching. Stay creative and I'll catch you in the next video. Peace.